This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? This is the first video in this series. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but we'll see as we go. So in this video, I'm going to try to fit the baby stuff in the first cars I've been testing for this series, which is a BMW iX. So how easy it is to fit baby stroller in the trunk? How easy is it to fit Isofix in the back? What about in the front? And then how is it? Well, let's start with the front seats. And the front seat doesn't have Isofix. Not many cars have Isofix in the front. Uh, but if you want to put the baby seat here uh, with the belt, here's the button for disabling um, passenger airbag. I think this is a common spot to have it. And back door can open at a fairly wide angle. That's good. And the back seat to have lid for Isofix. I like this. So it's hidden behind the cover. And also this one, oh, is it even spring load? No, no, it's not. Okay, but uh, these lids stay there. Unlike in the Mercedes I saw recently, then the lids, lids detach. And remember to A, B, C, always be covering. So here we have a seat cover protection thing. Uh, it's from Diono. So on top here, we have some rubberized stuff. Well, actually rubber is high also. So that's good. I'm not sure, it's just pro probably fake leather. And then I have to align it. And we can see here, we, we open up the lids. So it's easy to see the hooks. Actually, the hooks are in the same paint color as the car. Hmm. I wonder if you have red car, if you have red hooks in there. But okay, line up here so we can see the, the hooks of like this. Okay, maybe tuck that one in so it looks nice. And then we bring out the Isofix base. And then I have to extend the, the Isofix hooks here, all right, here and here. And then we just line up and you see, you notice that we have a fairly nice opening here. This is good because it's a SUV. So I can just get in here and I'm not that big of a guy even. And I can kind of easily do this. You see that one, how to uh, align up. Okay, okay, good, good, good. See. There. There, let me see, double check. That one is green. That one is green, all right, oh, that's good. Let me extend the leg a little bit more. There, this one is also green. All right, and this is the base for um, cloud set and all this is side bags, by the way. Uh, so what I like is that you can just rotate it. Uh, uh, there, like this, towards myself. And when we take the child seat, this is cloud set, I love it. And we just put it in here. there okay maybe fall on this one just imagine that there's a baby in here click it back there everything is green and we are good and then let me try the scenario yeah one thing I like about this cloud set is that the the sun visor here doesn't only go here but it actually extends all the way here very convenient when it's sunny outside um, so then that's like the the low, oh yeah, of course, ideally what I should do is, is uh, actually bring an actual baby here, but I'll probably not do that. But I will do something like this. I will put the baby here. I will strap it in, blah, blah. But you see that I'm 173 centimeters. And at least for me, I can stand upright and I don't have to bend over that much. So that's actually an advantage with SUV. Uh, we can see how it goes with a Model 3 then eventually. But um, in the other case then is that, uh, after we are done driving, we want to take the baby seat out. Uh, I can just do it like this. There are several ways to do it. Uh, you don't always have to rotate, but if I just have it in this position, uh, then I just press here, release it, and take it out. And again, it's, it's nice that we have the height here. See, because I'll be lifting it up, and then I tend to bump into this one, and it goes fairly easy in and out. So. Really, since this is the first car, that I don't know what, what much to say, but it just check, checks all the boxes and you saw how smooth it is. And here we have Cybex e Priam. It's basically the same as the regular Priam, but just that it has a motor. So the size is the same. Uh, and we have also the carry cot, which takes up some space. This is the one for uh, 
newborn up to six months very comfortable and then you see that i would say this is a, a medium size uh, stroller is not that big compared to the double one or whatever and then compare that one to Duna which is ultra portable but this is something completely different just to show you how big but uh, we don't care too much about Duna right now because uh, we're going to test now how is it to place this one because when you bring the Duna I should also mention by the way when we bring this one then I'll show you that it, uh, it becomes a car seat just like this you put it right in the car and then for the cases when we use this one for example going to the grocery store then you just trick out with the baby and then instantly it becomes a very nice and portable stroller but the comfort here of course is not that great compared to the carry cot uh, that's why yeah but so in this case we uh, like i can't think of any situation where i need to put this one in the trunk it just stays in the car or outside but this one will need to be put in the trunk since we have um, we use the the e -prium in combination with the cloud set so let's see now first okay let me try to take out this one take out the top i need to fold this down and the top usually fits nicely uh here see like this and then we fold the rest <coughs> see there and this e -prium can take out the front wheels um a little spoiler alert i already i had to take out the front well actually it's not the front it's actually the back wheels yeah i forgot it's the back wheels the big wheels i can show that uh, how you do it just um, there's a button here and then you take out the wheels but in this case with the bmw ix let me see how did I do this again? I cheated beforehand, yeah. So with the Ajax, you can take this one and slide it right in. And it will actually close. The slow clap for the Ajax, which is almost as big as Model X, and you can fit everything in there. Um, what about the space for other luggage? Well, um, I can show you that you still have a little bit of space here. I could probably optimize this if you're going on a road trip. Maybe, maybe there's other ways to, to make it more optimized. Um, but um, I should also show you that, uh, yes, um, take this one out first. Okay, let me just, there. Um, in the IX, you also have, okay, wait, I have to, uh, I don't want to put it on the ground, so I want to just, Hook it back in here. Okay. There was almost no luggage space here, but under here, fortunately, you have a little bit of storage for at least cables and maybe a little bit of stuff. But yeah, I guess if you're going on a road trip across Europe, you probably don't want to bring the EPRIAM. You probably want to bring something smaller anyway. Or I don't know, maybe you need an ES8. But yes, I think this completes the test. Now you guys have seen it. Of course, I didn't try to take out this part and then you could fit it for, for taller up. Maybe you should do that. Now how do you do this? Yeah, I'm not sure if people will do it like this. Um, because you know, when I, do, uh, when, I, when I try the banana box test, I actually fill up all the way here. And you can put the... Yeah, yeah it has this one. It has the... Uh, there. We have the, the securing net we can hook up here and then you can uh, you can fill it up to the top let me just try now yeah i'm not uh, convinced that i want to stack stuff on top of the, if, each other so yeah i i tried at least maybe you guys have a better idea but um, this is the way it is so yes uh, i think that's completed the test was it something i was missing in the test I'm not sure this is the first time I do it. So um, let me know in the comments and I will try to uh, improve. So do you guys like it? Is it useful for you? Because eventually I'm going to test, for example, Model 3. And you will see that the Model 3, you cannot fit these two items straight in there. Uh, well, actually this one, I forgot to mention it. Yeah. This one, you can compact it, but you have to take out the pillow. And then in here you can, you can make it thinner. 
So that will, I guess, work if you don't take it in and out too much. But I already took it on a on a city uh, uh, trip with wifey, just in and out of grocery stores and um, yeah, some some stuff we had to do, uh, some errands, and then it was like this: park, and then take the baby out of the cloud set, and no, no, actually, park, and then I have to take out everything, and then assemble the stroller and then get over there and then take the baby out and put it in there <laughs> and then the same thing when we park uh, when we come back i mean come back to the car then put the baby in the in the baby seat and then i have to disassemble everything so of course this is kind of cumbersome versus this one where you just zoop in and out but it depends because if you go to uh, to a shopping mall and we stay there extended time then uh, I guess it's not that uh, that comfortable to have the baby in here versus having the baby in, baby in the in the carry cot. So that's why we have to figure out uh, w where are we going? Are we just going to Rem and Tusen? Then we can use this one. Are we going on, on a shopping mall and spend several hours there? Then we bring the the e -priam. So yes, um, I think that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.